Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge. And today we are talking about top 40 interview questions and relevant answers on DevOps Technical Manager. This is part 1 of the video and we will have part 2 coming soon. Let's begin. What is DevOps and why is it important? DevOps is a cultural and technical practice that aims to improve collaboration between development and operations team to deliver high quality software faster. It is important because it helps organizations achieve faster time to market, higher quality software and improved team collaboration. Explain the difference between continuous integration and continuous deployment. Continuous integration is the practice of integrating code changes into a shared repository frequently while continuous deployment involves automatically releasing changes to production after passing automated tests. How would you implement a CI or CD pipeline from scratch? I would start by setting up a version control system, then integrate an automated build tool and automated testing. Next. I would implement continuous integration and deployment tools to automate the process of building, testing and deploying applications. What is IAC and how do you implement it in your projects? Infrastructure as code is the practice of managing and provisioning infrastructure through code and automation. I implement IAC using tools like Terraform or CloudFormation to define infrastructure resources in code and manage them programmatically. How do you ensure the security of your infrastructure in a DevOps environment? I ensure security by implementing secure coding practices, conducting regular security audits, using encryption for data in transit and at rest, configuring access controls and continuous monitoring for vulnerabilities. Describe a challenging situation you faced as a DevOps manager and how you resolved it. Here, you have to talk about a specific example from your experience and explain how you identified the issue, collaborated with the team to find a solution and implemented changes to resolve the problem. What tools do you use for monitoring and logging in your DevOps environment? I use tools like Prometheus. Grafana, ELK stack or Splunk for monitoring and logging to track system performance, detect anomalies and troubleshoot issues in real time. How do you handle a team conflict in a DevOps environment? I address team conflicts by encouraging open communication, actively listening to all the parties involved, facilitating a discussion to understand different perspectives and working towards a collaborative solution that benefits the team and the project. Explain the concept of shift left in DevOps. Shift left in DevOps refer to the practice of integrating and automating testing, security and other processes earlier in the software development lifecycle to identify and address issues sooner, reducing the cost and effort required to fix them later. How do you ensure the scalability and reliability of your infrastructure in the DevOps environment? I ensure scalability and reliability by designing for scalability from the beginning using cloud native technologies, setting up auto scaling mechanisms, performing load testing and monitoring performance metrics to identify and address any bottlenecks. What is the role of automation in DevOps? And how do you approach automation in your projects? Automation is essential in achieving the speed, consistency and efficiency required in DevOps practices. I approach automation by identifying repetitive tasks, creating scripts or using tools to automate them and continuously optimizing and expanding automation capabilities. How do you measure the success of your DevOps initiatives? I measure success by tracking the KPIs such as deployment frequency, lead time for changes, mean time to recover and overall system reliability. 
I also collect feedback from stakeholders to assess the impact of DevOps practices on business outcomes. Explain the concept of IAC and how it benefits DevOps practices. IAC is the practice of managing and provisioning infrastructure through code and automation. It benefits DevOps practices by enabling consistent, repeatable and version control infrastructure deployments, reducing manual errors and increasing scalability and efficiency. How do you ensure collaboration and communication between development and operations team in a DevOps environment? I ensure collaboration and communication by fostering a culture of shared ownership, setting up cross-function teams, organizing regular meetings and stand-ups, using collaboration tools like Slack or Microsoft Teams and encouraging transparency and knowledge sharing. Explain the concept of DevOps culture and its impact on team performance. DevOps culture emphasizes collaboration, shared responsibility, continuous learning, and a focus on delivering values to customers. It impacts team performance by promoting faster delivery, higher quality software, increased team morale, and improved innovation and problem solving abilities. How do you prioritize task and manage time effectively as a DevOps manager? I prioritize tasks by evaluating their impact on project goals, setting clear objectives and timelines, delegating responsibility when necessary, and using project management tools like Jira or Trello to organize and track progress. I also practice time management techniques like Pomodoro or time blocking to stay focused and productive. What are the key challenges you have faced in implementing DevOps practices and how did you overcome them? Here, you can share any specific challenges you encountered such as resistance to change, tool integration issues or cultural barriers and explain the strategies you used to address the challenge such as stakeholder engagement, training, upskilling or process improvements. How do you stay updated on the latest trends and best practices in DevOps? I stay updated by attending conferences, webinars, meetups, reading industry blogs and publications, participating in online communities like Reddit, Stack Overflow, and taking online courses or certifications in relevant technologies and practices. Describe a successful DevOps project you have managed and the impact it had on the organization. Here, you need to talk in detail about the project scope goals, challenges faced, strategies implemented, and the positive outcomes achieved, such as improved delivery speed, reduced downtime, cost savings, or increased customer satisfaction. How do you approach the implementation of security measures in a DevOps environment? I approach security by embedding security practices into the software development lifecycle conducting security assessments and vulnerability scanning, implementing secure coding standards, using tools for security testing and monitoring, and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. Thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel, Fixing Knowledge. This is the end of part one, and we will soon have part two coming soon. Till then, stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.